The Sydney Morning Herald SMH is a daily compact newspaper published by Fairfax Media in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. Founded in 1831 as the Sydney Herald, the SMH is the oldest continuously published newspaper in Australia and a national online news brand. The newspaper is published six days a week. It is available nationally except in the Northern Territory. Limited copies of the newspaper are also available at newsagents in New Zealand and at the High Commission of Australia, London. Overview The Sydney Morning Herald includes a variety of supplements, including the magazine's Good Weekend which is included in the Saturday edition of the Sydney Morning Herald, and Sunday Life. There are a variety of liftouts, some of them co-branded with Fairfax Media's online classified advertising sites. The Guide Television on Monday. Good Food Food and Domain Real Estate on Tuesday. Money Personal Finance on Wednesday. Drive Motor Shortlist Entertainment on Friday. News Review Spectrum Arts and Entertainment Guide Domain Real Estate Drive Motoring and My Career Employment on Saturday as of February 2016 average weekday print circulation of the paper was 104,000 The editor is Lisa Davies Former editors include Darren Goodsir, Judith Whalen, Sean Aylmer, Peter Frey, Merrill Constance, Amanda Wilson, the first female editor, appointed in 2011, William Kerno, Andrew Guerin, Frederick William Ward, Charles Brunsden Fletcher, Colin Bingham, Max Prisk, John Alexander, Paul McGuff, Alan Ray Vale, and Alan Oakley. Topic: <laughs> Circulation and readership. The February 2016 average circulation of the paper was 104,000. In December of 2013, the Audit Bureau of Circulations' audit on newspaper circulation states a monthly average of 132,000 copies were sold, Monday to Friday, and 228,000 copies on Saturday, both having declined 16% in 12 months, according to Roy Morgan Research Redship Surveys. In the 12 months to March 2011, the paper was read 766,000 times on Monday to Friday, and read 1,014,000 times on Saturdays. The newspaper Paper's website smh.com.au was rated by third-party web analytics providers Alexa and SimilarWeb as the 17th and 32nd most visited website in Australia respectively, as of July 2015. SimilarWeb rates the site as the fifth most visited news website in Australia and as the 42nd newspaper's website globally, attracting more than 15 million visitors per month. History In 1831 three employees of the now-defunct Sydney Gazette, Ward Stevens, Frederick Stokes and William McGravy, founded the Sydney Herald. In 1931 a centenary supplement since digitized was published. The original four-page weekly had a print run of 750. In 1840, the newspaper began to publish daily. In 1841, an Englishman named John Fairfax purchased the operation, renaming it the Sydney Morning Herald the following year. Fairfax, whose family were to control the newspaper for almost 150 years, based his editorial policies, "...upon principles of candor, honesty and honor. We have no wish to mislead, no interest to gratify by unsparing abuse or indiscriminate approbation." During the decade 1890, Donald Murray worked there. The SMH was late to the trend of printing news rather than just advertising on the front page, doing so from 15 April 1944. Of the country's metropolitan dailies, only the West Australian was later in making the switch. In 1949, the newspaper launched a Sunday edition, the Sunday Herald. Four years later, this was merged with the newly acquired Sun newspaper to create the Sun Herald, which continues to this day. In 1995, the company launched the newspaper's web edition smh.com.au. The site has since grown to include interactive and multimedia features beyond the content in the print edition. Around the same time, the organization moved from Jones Street to new offices at Darling Park and built a new printing press at Chellora, in the city's west. The SMH has since moved with other Sydney Fairfax divisions to a building at Darling Island. 
In May 2007, Fairfax Media announced it would be moving from a broadsheet format to the smaller compact or tabloid size, in the footsteps of the Times, for both the Sydney Morning Herald and The Age. Fairfax Media dumped these plans later in the year. However, in June 2012, Fairfax Media again announced it planned to shift both broadsheet newspapers to tabloid size, in March 2013. Fairfax also announced it would cut staff across the entire group by 1,900 over three years and erect paywalls around the paper's websites. The subscription type is to be a freemium model, limiting readers to a number of free stories per month, with a payment required for further access. The announcement was part of an overall, digital first, strategy of increasingly digital or online content over printed delivery, to increase sharing of editorial content and to assist the management's wish for full integration of its online, print and mobile platforms. In July 2013 it was announced that the SMH's news director, Darren Goodser, would become editor-in-chief, replacing Sean Aylmer. On the 22nd of February 2014, the final Saturday edition was produced in broadsheet format with this two converted to compact format on 1 March 2014, ahead of the decommissioning of the printing plant at Chulora in June 2014. Political viewpoint The newspaper's editorial stance is generally centrist. It is seen as the most centrist among the three major Australian non-tabloids the other two being The Australian and The Age. In 2004, the newspaper's editorial page stated, "...market libertarianism and social liberalism," were the two "...broad themes," that guided the Herald's editorial stance. During the 1999 referendum on whether Australia should become a republic, the Herald like the other two major papers strongly supported a yes vote. The newspaper did not endorse the Labour Party for federal office in the first six decades of federation, but did endorse the party in 1961, 1984, and 1987. During the 2004 Australian federal election, the Herald announced it would no longer endorse one party or another at election time but that this policy might yet be revised in the future. A truly awful government of any colour, for example, would bring reappraisal. The Herald subsequently endorsed the Conservative coalition at the 2007 New South Wales state election, but endorsed Labour at the 2007 and 2010 federal elections, before endorsing the coalition again at the 2013 federal elections. Notable contributors Walid Ali Julia Baird Lucian Boz Mike Carlton Anne Davies Elizabeth Farrelly Peter Fitzsimons Ross Jittins Richard Glover Peter Hartcher Amanda Hooten Adele Horan H. G. Kippix Roy Masters Ann Summers Kate McClymont Topic Notable Illustrators Simon Lech named as one of the year's best illustrators on four consecutive occasions Topic Ownership Fairfax went public in 1957 and grew to acquire interests in magazines, radio and television. The group collapsed spectacularly on of December 1990 when Warwick Fairfax, great-great-grandson of John Fairfax, attempted to privatize the group by borrowing $1.8 billion. The group was bought by Conrad Black before being relisted in 1992. In 2006, Fairfax announced a merger with Rural Press, which brought in a Fairfax family member, John B. Fairfax, as a significant player in the company. Topic: Content. Topic: Column 8. Column 8 is a short column to which Herald readers send their observations of interesting happenings. It was first published on of January 1947. 
The name comes from the fact that it originally occupied the final eighth column of the broadsheet newspaper's front page. In a front page redesign in the lead up to the Sydney Olympic Games in 2000, column 8 moved to the back page of the first section from the 31st of July 2000. The content tends to the quirky, typically involving strange urban occurrences, instances of confusing signs, often in English, word play, and discussion of more or less esoteric topics. The column is also sometimes affectionately known as Granny, after a fictional grandmother who supposedly edited it. The old granny logo was used for the first 20 years of the column and is occasionally resurrected for a special retrospective. The logo was a caricature of Sidney Deemer, originator of the column and its author for 14 years. It was edited for 15 years by George Richards, who retired on 31 January 2004. Other editors besides Deemer and Richards have been Duncan Thompson, Bill Fitter, Colonel Allison, Jim Cunningham, Pat Shile, and briefly, Peter Bowers and Lenore Nicklin. The column is, as of March 2017, edited by Tim Barlass. Topic: <inaudible> Opinion. The opinion section is a regular of the daily newspaper, containing opinion on a wide range of issues. Mostly concerned with relevant political, legal, and cultural issues, the section presents work by regular columnists, including Herald political editor Peter Hartscher, Ross Gittins, and Elizabeth Farrelly, as well as occasional reader submitted content. Iconoclastic Sydney barrister Charles C. Waterstreet, upon whose life the television workplace comedy Rake is loosely based, had a regular humor column in this section. Good Weekend Good Weekend is a liftout magazine that is distributed with both the Sydney Morning Herald and The Age in Saturday editions. It contains, on average, four feature articles written by its stable of writers and others syndicated from overseas as well as sections on food, wine and fashion. Writers include Stephanie Wood, Jane Cadzo, Melissa Fife, Tim Elliott, Conrad Marshall and Amanda Hooten. Other sections include Modern Guru, which features humorous columnists including Danny Katz responding to the everyday dilemmas of readers, a regular column by writer Benjamin Law, a samurai Sudoku, and The Two of Us, containing interviews with a pair of close friends, relatives or colleagues. Good Weekend is edited by Amelia Lester. Previous editors include Ben Napristek, Judith Whalen and Fenella Souter. Topic. Digitization The paper has been partially digitized as part of the Australian Newspapers Digitization Programme project of the National Library of Australia. Topic. See also Journalism in Australia List of newspapers in Australia the Sydney Mail, weekly magazine of the Sydney Morning Herald, published from 1860 to 1938.